Good evening. Once again, ladies, gender queers, goths, and gamers, I'm Mary Jane Blank, uh, to play more Gish. Well, well, well. Oh god, it'd be one of them blobby things, ha ha ha. Jeez. Oh god. Ugh. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh fuck. Shit. Yeah, I think I've seen all I need to see at this point. <sighs> wow. Yeah, that... that... really... Racist Louisiana accent. It was not not fun. It was not good. It's very bad. Ugh. Shit. Okay, so I actually have to be able to do this like a pro, <laughs> like a Tony Hawk pro skater. Yeah, it's really interesting. <laughs> Whoa! Oh shit, I gotta... I really enjoyed that, but... I gotta hit them lever. Oh! Hey, that's all it took! Look at that! Nothing! Taint nothing. Taint nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's like a minecart, but a, a revert, a uh, aerial minecart. Whoa! Oh shit! <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> that was exciting. And then I just fall off. Oh gosh! And then I die. Oh, nope. Saved it. Complete. <laughs> okay, never mind. Good. <laughs> Fine. 3 1. Oh, cool. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, now, now life sucks. Now, oh, now we're in hell. Hey, look at that. Welcome to Hell Games. I'm Mary Jane Blank, and we're continuing games I play that have hell in them in some fashion. <clears throat> Different representations of hell. So here we go. We got rusty nails. We got it's subterranean. Specifically. What? Are you fucking kidding me here? Whoa. Just put it pushing D works. It's really crazy. Oh shit. Ugh. Oh oh. <laughs> Gish is just so tense. Oh <laughs> just said so oh no. I'm alive. Hey! Check that out. That's cool. <laughs> like, I bet I'm gonna wanna stop. Nope. Yeah, we got lava. Oh shit. Oh my goodness. We got Bane. Okay. Something's wrong here, but okay. Okay. Oh shit. Here 
here we are. Got him. No. Great. I'm really distracted by this, like, tasteless music. I don't know. It just rubs me the wrong way. The, like, lava pit of death gets this kind of music. Gets the. Gets the I don't know. I think I'm pretty satisfied with what this game has to offer. Whew. Okay, cool. It's not just one toe rule. Got him. Whoops, no. No, no, no. I'm gonna drop ya. No! Alright. Nope. Almost. Nope. Fuck. This is a great one. A lot of good errors here. Shit. Visit the Seven Plains of Henna. Hehenna? Is that what it said? Which is sort of a similar sounding, sort of demonic name. Get out of here. Get out of here. Di uh, no, get died! Oh, I died. Got the rusty nails. Shit. Fuck. Yeah. I hate to say it, I really don't like it. I really don't like the... Oops. Crabs. It's like, uncomfortable. It's, it's kind of weird, but it is uncomfortable. Like, making me uncomfortable. Oh, nice, I did it. Got it in ten. Oh. <sighs> oh, fuck. I have to, like, shit. I have to shit. Come on. Go, 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 go. Shit. I got crushed on. Add it to the list. Oh. Ooh. Alright. Whew. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Shit. Every fucking time. Shoot. Fuck. Every damn time. I'm having a hard one with this. With these particular mechanics. Shoot. Crab. Okay. No!
crap. so creepy like this music is freaking me out a little bit because there's like a vague like really quiet crowd noise and I keep thinking it's someone outside but it's like 11 p.m. so that would be very creepy if someone were outside my window I had to look <laughs> it's so strange kind of ruined the song that I enjoyed Oh, fuck. Okay, fine. No! Fuck. Right in the... Right in the dip. Right in the sauce. Uh-oh. Right back in the sauce. No! Shit! Okay, got it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it, gotta do it. Okay. No! Let's go! I made it! I live. I survive. Get in there. In the fucking lava, you fucking mouth with legs. That is what they are. Oh, come now. Yeah, I know. My standard now is like, I just gotta get past this lava. Intriguing. What I just did there. Okay. Huh? 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 Oh, get out of here. Oh, nice. I just crushed it with my normal goo weight. The normal weight of goo. Oh, how much does goo weigh? <laughs> Crash right into the lava. I think I, it, it is true, I think, that I give myself more lease to do this. Oof. Got it. Bounced it. No! Curses. I'm foiled again. The oh shit. Whee! Ah. Okay, what I need to do. Hop, hop, hop. Okay. No! Shit! I even had the land in my ham. My gooey, gooey hand. I didn't die. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. I can kind of do it. I did it. Oh, I did it finally. I figured this nonsense out. Fuck! You shitting me. Bananas. <sighs> All right. 
shoot. Alright. You know, having a spot where I keep dying gives me a good metric for progress. You know, all I have to do is get past this particular spot. Alright, well, I'm in a hole. Congratulations to Hole. Wow. I keep forgetting that I'm- I get into the zone and I forget that I'm- wow. I forget that I'm recording, you know? Because it's much more fun to just think about other things while I'm playing this game rather than trying to think about this game. I mean, it's so bad. Look at this fucking shit. I mean, look at this great game. Wonderful. I love being the Scooby Ball. I hate to say it, but the more I've played here, I really can't, I really don't, I can't recommend this. It's, the, ah, fuck, the things I don't like about it would be deal breakers in recommending it to another person, like to, a, oh fuck, like to a friend of mine. Like, if I had another crunchy-ass, you know, socialist or anarchist gamer, whoops, similar, or just a leftist gamer or whatever, I wouldn't recommend it to them. Ah! Uh, I would say if you're only looking for a challenge, this is pretty decent. It's hard. I'm I'm certainly having trouble with it. I mean, maybe... I don't know if, like, in the hard video game community, they think this is hard. I think it's pretty hard. I mean, I think Dark Souls is hard. I, mean, I don't know. The Meat Boy is hard. You know? I don't know. Those are, like, the games I would... Uh, Enter the Gungeon, Binding of Isaac. Those are the games I would give somebody if they wanted to just play a game that's, like really hard. And this one, oh god, getting over it. That's sort of the weirdest thing about this, is that this game, the game this reminds me most of is, is not other games that may have been made by the same people or something like that, but no, it's, it's getting over with Bennett Foddy, the guy who made Quop. In case you forgot. That friend made Quop. Brother Foddy made Quop. Quop. Oh gosh, gosh darn it. Gus, Gus. This shit is bananas. B a n a n a s. Woo, skateboard. Oh shit. <laughs> Hebristic deaths only. So. I guess I shouldn't discuss my controversial Dark Souls opinions. Uh. Because we've gotten to the point where no opinion is controversial, which is actually pretty nice, to be honest with you. I think that's fine. Um. In some ways. Like your opinion on, like my opinion on, like, Dark Souls. I don't think, like, how I feel about the games will be considered controversial, nor do I think my uh, someone's opinion on a game should be considered that way. Yeah. Oh, shit! 
I mean, uh, maybe it could be shocking, but like, you know. I basically think that we should accept any media uh, criticism that we can get. But the hard part is, because of how it works now, the breach internet has created a much stranger phenomena where it isn't solely about having critiques from different perspectives, which I, I find very valuable. I think that, um, you know, the world is made up of diverse perspectives and thus anything can only be improved. Uh, any, any, like, uh, medium fuck or discipline can be improved. with some form of diversity. Especially in the idea process, because like... Secret. Oh good, this is secret. It was, so it was a complete waste of my time. I'm so happy to have learned. And then I die anyway. <laughs> That's the part I was waiting for. Nope. I fell in. Shit. Because, yeah, I, I, I do... I kind of do agree with the idea that, you know, basically... There's some folks out there that are looking for certain kinds of gratification and validation. And that... Oh, God. Yeah, it's been sad, because, like, the theory... I like the theory that if Dungeons & Dragons had existed a century before, it would have prevented a lot of bad books from being written. And as much as I want to believe that to be true... Because, like, you know... It's a hypothetical, so it can't be proven or disproven. It's a thought experiment, basically. So it's like, it's just you just sort of take it as like, huh? What if Alexander? What if uh? Yeah. What if? What if uh? Yeah. Yeah. What if Ragnar Redbeard could have played Dungeons and Dragons? Just played a barbarian and just they just you know write racist fantasies, and that they'd be done with it. But it's the political power. It's just interesting, the whole thing. Um, especially, like, where we're at currently. How it's all going. No. Oh fuck. Ugh. Took me 20 minutes to get back to here. Oh fuck. Oh good, the time I didn't lose any health. <laughs> that that was just a Ooh, nice. Got some good got some good vocals going on there, some good di black metal vocals. That was good. So yeah, once those vocals came in, I was I was on board more. I'm a sucker for some good vocals. Yeah, it's bad. It sucks. A lot of Nazis play metal. It sucks. Shit. It's all very interesting. I don't know. And the way that these things work, you know, because of fuck, because of records and everything, we are gonna, you know, basically the cat can't be put back in the bag. We, you know, we, we can't go backwards. 
There's no, we can't go to pre-capitalist times, we can't go to pre-fascist, you know, uh, times, we can't go to pre-socialist times, to be fair. You know, all these things exist, all these ideas exist, and some of them have, you know, been, they've been put into practice in different ways. I guess I'd say fascism, because fascism, fascism in every country uh, has to be uh, ref it is always reflective of the culture, and unless it's a coup that's f done by another country, like the United States and uh, Chile, generally it's also behind a uh, charismatic, uh, masculine uh, leader. That's sort of the hallmark of fascism in particular. But obviously, what we're seeing, some of them are just authoritarian, not necessarily totally fascist, but are definitely close. You know, Fashlight. Which is bad. Fashlight ain't good. You know. But especially because... I think my favorite quality... I think this was even in Umberto Eco's essay. Like, the best quality of fascism, and, and you can quote me on saying this. Mary Jane Blank, quote, uh, The one good thing about fascism is that it does not gauge its enemies, so it is always doomed to fail. Because, because of the rhetoric, your enemies are always weak and strong, so basically <laughs> they have no realistic perception of strength or weakness, and thus they're always doomed to fail eventually because they will misjudge like how the, the Nazis definitely did that. That's why they were really bad. That's why they were, I mean, other than just like, they made a lot of stupid, being a conqueror is just stupid in the first place and then like, then doing it wrong. <laughs> doing it badly is just embarrassing, you know? Napoleon Bonaparte would have been so embarrassed. If, 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 if an afterlife exists, or like in the weird like History Channel time traveler thing where just like, for some reason it's only conquerors that get put in there, kind of like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Oh, what did I just do? Shit, I just hit a button. I just hit a button wrong. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, whoa! Come on. Shit. Fell in again. Okay, well... Alright. I think this can be... arranged. Yeah. I think I'm gonna give it... What? Well... Okay. I'm gonna give a concerted, concerted effort. Here, you know what I'll do? This is my last continue. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go until I've used up my zero. Fuck. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, get out of here. But yeah, it's interesting, like, I've been for some reason kind of thinking about this weird, like, because I, I want to sort of imagine different kinds of stuff. Whoops. You know, different kinds of societies that may or may not have existed before and or currently, and most likely they have. I, I don't assume I'm that creative that I can come up with something completely new, but Honestly, the irony is that you, I could be. Who knows? Time will tell. I mean, more likely than not, no. But, you know. A girl can dream. A 30-something can dream. Oh god, no, I'm a 30-something? Great. Yeah. Such is my life. Oh, hey, now I actually do need the help. Radical. Oh, crap. 
Okay. Oh, nice. They're... They're... They did it to themselves. Oh, gosh. Oh, fuck. Oh, god. Yeah, I remember Bane. Alright, my last life... Let's see. No! Well. And there it is. Game over, ladies and gender queers, goths, and gamers. I've been Mary Jane Blank. If you've enjoyed this content and would like more of it, follow this channel, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, rather, um, and comment about your favorite offensive, uh, culturally appropriative uh, piece of media written by a white person. My favorite is the Sam and Max comic books. It's fucked up. Later.